host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side. We want to help you change your life today. If you're dealing with a health challenge or you or a loved one is dealing with something you just can't figure out, something going on in the, on your skin or in your body, let us help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about formulations, ingredients, supplements, our Truth Skin Health products, if you have a comment or a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the Bright Side. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you advertise or recommended on the program, you can call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. You can also head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com and purchase the Longevity products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website or by calling 866-735-2470. For a one-time $25 fee, you can be in business. You can earn thank you checks associated with spreading the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. You can earn tax benefits or enjoy tax benefits right off your home office, right off your mileage, right off your stamps, your, your office equipment, your computer. You can also, if that's all you want to do. Just get your products at the wholesale price. All for a one-time $25 fee. Call 866-735-2470 for more info or sign up right off brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Also would like to remind you to check out our Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, our retinol 5% gel, Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, they're all up at truthtreatments.com. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, silicon water, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our truth treatment products. Truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to the bright side. Last we spoke, we were talking about the underappreciated and unrecognized relationship, unrecognized for the most part, relationship between the adrenal glands and the functioning of the thyroid. I call this relationship the adrenal thyroid axis. It is the third point on our triangle of disease. The bottom two points on the triangle of disease, the digestive system and the blood sugar system, those are the fundamental aspects or the fundamental components, the fundamental systems in the body that need to be addressed if we're not feeling as well as we should or that need to be addressed if we don't want to get sick. Digestive system and blood sugar system, it's really as simple as that. Diabetes, for example, is the third, is the, uh, third leading cause of death in this country behind heart disease and behind cancer, although when you factor in the messed up blood sugar element associated with cancer and associated with heart disease, heart disease is actually part of uh, metabolic syndrome, which is a diabetic-like syndrome, a diabetic-like health pathology. So when you factor that in, it turns out that diabetes and blood sugar issues are the f leading cause of death, the first leading cause of death. And this is what I've been saying for years. 
blood sugar issue. And I don't even like the term diabetes. Forget that word diabetes because that's just a fi an official diagnosis. Much more descriptive of the, of the breakdown that occurs in the body when you're diabetic or have diabetes is dysglycemia. Dys, D-Y-S, meaning messed up. Glyce, G-L-Y-C, meaning sugar. Emia, meaning in the blood. Messed up blood sugar. I like the word dysglycemia. It just means messed up blood sugar. So don't, it doesn't matter if you're diabetic. That's just some kind of pronouncement from your medical genius doctor who's looking at a test score. It doesn't matter if you're diabetic or not. It matters how you're handling your sugar. And for the most part, way before we get officially pronounced as a diabetic by the medical model, we're dysglycemic. We're messed up in, the, in terms of how we're processing sugar. And then behind that, you'll always find a messed up intestine and liver. The intestine and the liver are both di uh, digestive uh, structures and they're also uh, processing systems. They process foods. They turn foods into energy in the case of the intestine and they store energy in the case of the liver. They're energy, uh, energy structures. And when the digestive system breaks down, it is a short jump to dysglycemia. That's really how we die, how, how we get sick and how we die. This is how the body breaks down at its most fundamental levels, is at the digestive system level and the blood sugar level, and I cannot think of any, how to simplify that any further. It's irreducible from there. It's digestive system, blood sugar, digestive system, blood sugar. Now, once the blood sugar gets thrown off, boom, you go into adrenal stress. Why? Because when your blood sugar goes up, your body considers that an emergency. Your adrenals are your emergency glands. They kick in. When your blood sugar drops, same thing happens. That's an emergency. Your adrenal glands kick in. This up and down and up and down and up and down. I call it the high blood sugar, low blood sugar roller coaster. Eventually, it's going to cause adrenal exhaustion. You factor in all the other reasons why we have uh, adrenal uh, stresses, the foods we're eating, the thoughts we're thinking. The body doesn't really know the difference from a biochemical standpoint between a thought of something terrible and something really terrible. From a biochemical standpoint, fight or flight is going to uh, kick in. Your adrenal glands will burn through resources. All of these things com uh, uh, conspire, come together to lead to adrenal fatigue, adrenal exhaustion. You can tell you've got adrenal fatigue issues if you crave salty foods. You can tell you've got adrenal fatigue issues if you can't sleep, even if you're tired. You can tell you've got adrenal fatigue issues if you're tired when you wake up in the morning, even if you had eight or nine hours of sleep. You can tell you have adrenal fatigue issues if you're bending down and standing up quickly and get dizzy. You can tell you have adrenal fatigue issues if you can't get up in the morning without coffee. There are all kinds of manifestations of adrenal fatigue issues that we live with every day. The problem is, is when the adrenals become hyperactive, when they're moving, that's which occurs before they're fatigued, when they're moving dynamically and, and under a lot of, or subject to a lot of stresses themselves and uh, very active, eventually the thyroid will start to slow down to compensate. This is the key point. It's the adrenal thyroid axis. That means the thyroid is connected to the adrenal glands from a biochemical standpoint. This adrenal thyroid link, the, the connection between the stress glands and the thyroid means that adrenal issues, think inflammation, survival threat, sugar, drugs, stre uh, emotional and mental stresses, all of these are going to, going to affect the thyroid. And because of this, it's impossible to address thyroid health without addressing adrenal issues first, which means stress issues first. That's so important. You cannot address thyroid issues without addressing adrenal slash stress issues first. It is for the most part useless and a waste of time and money and energy to try to use medical and pharmaceutical and even nutritional strategies to deal with your thyroid if you're not, and that includes iodine by the way, and avoiding broccoli and other cruciferous vegetables and all, all this other sage advice people have, uh, good well-meaning nutritionists and naturopaths and alternative practitioners have when it comes to treating the thyroid. What they're missing, as well-meaning as they are, is you gotta work on the adrenal glands first. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Back on the bright side, I am Pharmacist Benny for 
6010 is our number on the bright side, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about hypothyroidism or nutritional supplementation for hypothyroidism, the adrenal glands, anything we're speaking about here today, if you have a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, 844-236-6010 is our number. And of course, if you just want to comment or have a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Okay, so three points in the triangle of disease, the digestive system, the blood sugar system, the adrenal thyroid axis, the adrenal thyroid link. It's one system in a certain kind of way because the adrenal glands are an energy, uh, give us energy, the thyroid gives us energy, but the adrenal glands give us emergency energy for running quick, for getting out of a, a bad situation. The thyroid gives us energy for just doing our lives. When the adrenal glands are cranking out adrenal stress hormones and you're running on coffee energy, and you could tell coffee energy, by the way, I call it coffee energy. It's the same as cortisol energy. Coffee duplicates cortisol, stress hormone. It's a jittery type of energy. When you're running on that jittery type of energy, not a smooth energy, eventually the thyroid is going to slow down. It's a compensatory mechanism. It's a way that the body compensates to adjust. It's like it's putting on the brakes, basically. And this is why it's such a, a waste of time to try to deal with hypothyroidism without trying to deal with the adrenal glands first. It's a response. The hypothyroidism is largely a response. Now, there's other things that can go wrong in hypothyroidism. Autoimmunity sometimes is involved. That's a digestive system issue. But that's also secondary to or following some kind of burden on the body. It's all about burden. Think of your body like a... Think of your body like a, a just like a, a, a beast of burden. It can only handle so much. All our disease states are from putting stuff into the body that the body doesn't want to deal with under conditions of deficiency. That's it. Basically, it. the wrong stuff's getting in, the right stuff isn't. Period. From a physical perspective, it shows up as digestive distress. It shows up as dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar. And then it shows up as adrenal stress, hypothyroidism. And from there, from that, from that adrenal stress, hypothyroidism point, every disease follows everything. The symptoms of adrenal exhaustion, the body slowing down, the chronic fatigue, the joint pain, the poor circulation, the elevated cholesterol, these are all symptoms of uh, adrenal exhaustion. Blood fats uh, that are out of control. These are almost identical to the symptoms of hypothyroidism. The body just slowing down is adrenal exhaustion and it's hypothyroidism. It's hard to tease the two apart. Essentially, the symptoms of hypothyroidism are the symptoms of adrenal exhaustion, which is the end result of our barrage of stressors. Psychological, physiological, processed, food or stress, uh, processed foods are stressors, sugar is a stressor, inflammation is a stressor, our fear-filled, fast-paced, 21st century lifestyle is a stressor. It's, how can you not be fear-filled if you just listen to the news? Don't listen to the news. Is, do you see what we're saying here? Hypothyroidism is the end result of adrenal distress. Adrenal distress is the, is the end result of lots and lots of stressors in our lives, whether it's physiological or psychological. That means if you just do the math here, we just follow along logically, our stress-filled 21st century lifestyle, including nutritional deficiencies, including uh, mental and emotional stra uh, uh, issues, poor mental and emotional strategies, equals hypothyroidism. Phys hypothyroidism is the end result of burden on the body, whether it's burden on the body through the triangle, through the adrenal glands, or burden on the body uh, through autoimmunity, which is a digestive system. It's a digestive uh, issue itself. Hypothyroidism is the end result of burden on the body. As the adrenal glands kick in over time, as they're chronically activated, thyroid functioning is going to become compromised, and this connection between the two glands, the adrenal thyroid axis, I call it, is critical to understand if you are one of the millions of Americans who's dealing with an underactive thyroid. Millions of Americans. I don't even think it's like 11 million Americans, some crazy amount. Hypothyroidism is one of those health challenges that those of us who study the body and, and wellness see all the time. 
And as I've said many times, I'll say it again, there is no such thing as a chronic illness that does not have some degree of hypothyroidism associated with it. You cannot have a chronic disease without some degree of a poorly functioning thyroid first. And if you have a poorly functioning thyroid, it's impossible for the rest of your body to be operating at peak efficiency. This is why the thyroid, or more specifically the adrenal thyroid axis, is the third point in the triangle of disease, and this is why it is the jumping off point to all, A-L-L, all chronic disease, and you don't need to waste your time or your money on a thyroid test. They're useless. There is countless, I can't even tell you how many times I've seen people who, who, who have come to me with clear symptoms of hypothyroidism. A doctor says, I'm fine. Or vice versa, people getting dosed when they don't need to be dosed. You don't need a test to determine whether your thyroid is functioning. Your body is the test. It doesn't matter what the thyroid test scores tell you, first of all, because they're all based on reference ranges, and you may be an outlier on your reference range. You, reference ranges are, are a silly way that lazy healthcare professionals, uh, it's an easy way, I should say, for, health, for lazy healthcare professionals to not look at their patients. They can just look at the numbers. We get medicalized by numbers. We get treated by statistics. The three, Mark Twain said the three kinds of lies. There's lies, there's damn lies, and there's statistics. And we get medicalized and drugged and dosed and, and put into categories and have surgical procedures done because we fit statistics. Doctor thinks nothing of poisoning the body for real based on the abstract idea of risk. You're in a statistical, a high risk statistical category, so you get real drugs. They're, they're treating our numbers. The thyroid test is one of the useless of all tests. Your hair is the best. Uh, look at your hair. That's a test for your thyroid. Your nails, that's a test for your thyroid. Your energy levels, that's a test for your thyroid. Your skin, that's a test for your thyroid. Your body temperature, that's a test for your thyroid. And it's free, and you can do it from the comfort of your own living room. And the medical professionals, the naturopaths, unfortunately, who should know better, who use these tests, they'd be better off studying how the body works and how all the parts are connected and how to interpret symptoms than depending on lab tests and statistical averages and norms, reference ranges, which are all meaningless for the individual patient. Statistics are for mass amounts of people. They're for large numbers. The individual, the, uh, the statistical, uh, statist statistical relevance doesn't count for the individual because statistics are about large numbers. It's a scam. It's a major, major scam. And it's used it's employed to take our money from us, to take our hope from us, to take our health from us. I don't, I'm not going to go as far as to say it's intentional. They don't intentionally want to take their health for us, but they certainly want to use it as a commodity. You can't commoditize something unless it's been quantified, unless there's numbers associated with it. That's why they have reference ranges. You can't dose somebody based on your sensation of symptoms and how the symptoms work. Because then you'll see that you're going to make matters worse because there's no such thing as a drug that does not have side effects, side symptoms. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll return on The Bright Side right after this. Okay. We are back on The Bright Side. Pharmacist Ben here. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you have questions about the longevity products or formulations or ingredients or our truth treatment products, which are available at truthtreatments.com, questions about skin health issues. I've been working with the skin now for 35 years, and I would go as far as, I would go as, far as to say I've pretty much seen it all when it comes to the skin. And like the rest of the body, it isn't that complicated. You know, dermatology is the silliest of all the medical. Uh, of all the medical schools or all the medical specialties, the way I look at it. This is why dermatolo dermatological strategies for taking care of the skin have not really advanced much in 100 years. Since actually the, the last great advance in dermatological medicine was steroids, which is what they still use today. They came out about 70 years ago or so. Still use them today. Steroids, antibiotics, now they have lasers and peels. That's pretty much it. Laser, you know, aside from surgical procedures, laser, I guess that's kind of a non-invasive surgical procedure. And then steroids and antibiotics, and that's all they can do. Because the skin, like the rest of the body, 
is not where the problem is when there's a problem. When you have a, a skin problem, it's not a skin problem. You're just seeing it on the skin. When you have a thyroid problem, it's not a thyroid problem. You're just seeing it in the thyroid. This is a fundamental idea when it comes to health. Where you see the problem is not where the problem is, at least from a causal perspective. It's the failure of medicine in, in a nutshell, not understanding that where we see the problem is not where the problem is from a causal perspective. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll continue talking hypothyroidism and the adrenal glands and salt and the heart and electrolytes as we continue on the bright side tomorrow. Get to a couple stories here, and then we'll get your calls. 844-236-6010 is our number. From the uh, Perlman School of Medicine at the University of Pennsylvania, vitamin D may be a key for pregnant women with polycystic ovarian syndrome. That is really women who want to get pregnant. Vitamin D is a happy vitamin. It tells the body all is right in the world. It's an anti-stress vitamin. It's a building vitamin. Vitamin D, from an evolutionary perspective, was only around in the summertime. The summertime was when, from hundreds of thousands and millions of years ago, when, when, when human beings were out on the African savanna, summertime was the happiest time of the year because there's lots of food. The body is, time, is set up to grow in the summertime, and vitamin D is a summertime vitamin. So everything good is associated with vitamin D. If you're infertile, rest assured, the body doesn't feel like life is so good. That's basically what infertility is. The body is saying, you know, we got bigger fish to fry here than making a baby, and it's probably not a good idea to make a baby now. That's infertility. And this is why it's so problematic to just try to stick hormones into the body to, to force the body to make a baby. The body doesn't want to make a baby. It's under some kind of duress. Fertility is tied into the relaxation nervous system, which is why if you're trying to get pregnant, get a back rub or a foot rub or take a hot tub first. You want to activate the relaxation nervous system if you're trying to get pregnant. Under conditions of burden and distress and the body doesn't feel safe, it's not going to make a baby. Vitamin D is a key for helping the body get fertile. It's a fertility vitamin because it tells the body all is well, all is safe. When you have polycystic ovarian syndrome or any kind of reproductive health issue, the chances are really good you're not going to be absorbing your fats. Fat malabsorption and poor fat processing is, goes hand in hand with polycystic ovarian syndrome and other female reproductive issues. Whenever anybody comes to me with endometriosis or polycystic ovarian syndrome or PMS, bad cramps, period issues, infertility issues, I'm always saying focus on fat metabolism first. There's lots of juicy biochemical reasons for that involving estrogen, but uh, it doesn't matter. The point is that you're going to be deficient in vitamin A and vitamin D. You're going to be deficient in your essential fatty acids. You're going to have a hard time absorbing your minerals. Focus on fat absorption. This is the first point on our triangle of disease, by the way. Fat malabsorption occurs at the level of the digestive system. Point number one on the triangle of disease. Oh, what's the second point? Blood sugar. And that's the second thing you want to focus on when you're uh, dealing with polycystic ovarian syndrome, PCOS, which is a really miserable condition that women get where uh, they have both male features and female features, oily skin, hairy, uh, hair on the face, hairy bodies, uh, problems with menstrual, with cramps, cysts, fibroids. It just, it's just a mess. Acne, terrible acne, oily skin. Focus on fats, that is the digestive system, and then focus on the blood sugar system. Vitamin D is important because it's fat soluble, and if you have any of those issues, you're not going to be absorbing your vitamin D. So go out and get some sunshine. That's the best way to get your vitamin D. Go out and get some sun. The burning ray, how interesting is that? The UVB, the kind that you burn from, the kind that is blocked by your sunscreen, that's the kind that makes vitamin D. That's the kind you want, contrary to dermatological dogma. All right, and you don't want to burn, though. You never, ever, ever, ever want to burn. All right, I am Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. Let's go to Nancy in California. Good morning, Nancy. Welcome to The Bright Side. Hi, thank you for calling. No, I called you. I'm sorry. Thank you. But, um, I, get, I know what you mean. Um, thank you for calling me, Nancy. Um, yeah, um, my doctors have neglected to tell me something about my lab test, you know, and then all of a sudden, well, this has been this way for a long time, and I'll tell you what it is. Okay. And, and, and it's probably the most important thing I need to know, and that was my kidney filtration rate was only 53, and then it was done again when I drank more water, and it was 64. Um, 
does it have, can it get better? Is there of course. something we can help the filtration rate? Absolutely. And there's no protein. There's no protein in my urine. I am a diabetic. Okay, that's you said you're at 53 now and 64. I mean, you're you're on the no, low I'm end of things. At 64, and I look online, it says second stage kidney failure. Yeah, yeah, you're on the on the road. Okay, but the kidney's amazing because it can, you know, you can have like 85 percent of your kidneys messed up before it becomes really, really serious. Now, I don't want to, you don't necessarily want to wait, obviously, and and you that's not a great filtration rate. You want to be over 90. Uh, that's where you technically want to be. Uh, so here's the deal. The kidneys filter the blood. They, have, they filter it in this miraculous way through super, super microscopic tiny blood vessels which are easily damaged. These microscopic blood vessels are easily damaged, particularly by sugar and by blood toxins. When the blood becomes toxic and sludgy, and when it becomes full of sugar, it damages these little blood vessels. Sugar and toxicity from the digestive system are your two, two things you want to focus on. Oh, by the way, that's the two points in the triangle of disease, which you've heard me talking about. Food and sugar. Those are the two things you've got to focus on. I should say digestive health and sugar. All right? Now, I'm assuming you're in your 50s or 60s, correct? I'm 69. Okay, so it's just normal. I mean, the way we live, it's just normal to have some degree of blood toxicity, sludgy blood, I, I call it, and uh, blood sugar issues. Don't beat yourself up for it, but right now you have zero tolerance for the kind of, you have to have zero tolerance for the kind of foods and the kind of digestive strategies that you had when you were younger. Now you have zero tolerance at the age of 69. You know what I'm saying? Eating is yeah. a young man's game, I like to tell people, okay? You, you can't, we can't do that anymore. So, yes, you, your answer is to your question is yes, GFR can increase. You can improve kidney health. Absolutely. The bad, that's the good news. The bad news is, is you got to change your life. I, I, I'm just being you know, frank here. Okay? So, food and, dig uh, and uh, blood sugar issues, then you want, there's some wonderful supplements you can use. The Nightly Essence from Longevity. Fermented foods can help you. Make sure that you're using uh, uh, the Sweeties after meals, the Ultimate Niacin. Sip on your BTT all day long, the whole healthy start pack. You want to hang on? I'll finish up when we come back from our break. Okay, Nancy, yeah, don't yeah, go away. I, I, wanna, I would okay. like to. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this with more good health information and more of your phone calls. Don't go away. Okay, we are back on the bright side. 8442366010 talking to Nancy in California, talking about the kidneys. Did that make sense how I explained everything? The kidney filters the blood, tiny little blood vessels easily damaged. Yes, make, but when that's it's pretty, damaged, does it mean that I will eventually have kidney failure? No, it does not mean that. But if you keep on the road you're on, you very likely may. I mean, it's not going to get better without you changing something. So you got to work oh, on I blood sugar. you got to work on the digestion. Okay. So okay, here. What do I do? Well, stay away from Here's all what these. you do, Nancy. Hang on. I, I want to get to a bunch of calls. So I'm going to go a little bit fast. Anytime I go really fast, by the way, you can always get the. Uh, you can always review everything we're talking about at BenFuchsArchives.com and BrightsideBen.com. There's search engines there. You can review programs. You can review specific shows. So I, I'm sorry. I, I want to go fast because I got a bunch of calls I want to get to. So work on the digestive system first. You've got if you're age 60. You have to know there's some foods that don't agree with you that you eat anyway. And if you don't know it, find them because they're there. Number one. So you, I like to have uh, Swero V Cleanse first. Swero V, S U E R O V I E. Call 866 735 2470 to order it. Do half a bottle every hour for one or two days. And that's called a Swero V Cleanse. What was the phone number? 866 735 2470. Tell them you want a swear OV cleanse. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go fast, sweetheart. I, I want to be able to, uh, you know, if you can review the program, just review it. You can always okay, send, me an e send me an email, ben at ksco.com if you have questions. Next thing, get on the nightly essence. Use your ultimate enzymes with your meals and take a couple of the ultimate enzymes 
between meals on an empty stomach. That will help clean the blood a little bit. You might want to use some bentonite clay every day. Uh, keep your intake of fast-burning sugars. As, as, uh, by, when I say use bentonite clay, I mean half a teaspoonful or a teaspoonful in water. Stir it up and drink it. You got to take the sugar thing by the uh, sugar bowl by the horns, and that means bread and pasta and cereal. If I were you, I'd be having zero tolerance or as close to it as you can. I know it's hard, uh, as, but whatever you can do to minimize your, um, to lower your blood sugar, to uh, reduce the your uh, interaction with foods that break down quickly into sugar, and that includes fruits and fruit juices. I'm not saying zero tolerance necessarily, but as close as you can. And then use the, your sweeties after meals, your ultimate niacin, your ultimate selenium, uh, 600 micrograms of the ultimate selenium, maybe one, uh, one of the ultimate niacin every day, and then a uh, the couple of the sweeties after all your meals. Make sure you're using enough fiber throughout the day. See, I, there's a zillion different strategies you can use here, supplementally and lifestyle. And by the way, moving the body is a great way to improve circulation and also lower blood sugar, help the body use blood sugar more effectively. All right, thank you so much for your call, Nancy. Appreciate it. Hope we helped you out. And uh, let's go to my friend Rose in Virginia. Hello, Rose. Good morning. Good morning, Ben. Blessings. Um, I wanted to ask you a few questions. I know somebody who has heart disease. What kind of and, disease? Uh, heart disease. Heart disease, okay. Yeah, and, and the relationship with, uh, my question is increasing a little bit of uh, the right soul. Will that help? Yeah, yeah it know, always helps. This person is, this I would person say yes. is craving. Salt. Fast food, you know. Yeah, yeah. Here's what you do when she's craving fast food, Rose. Thanks. So much. I appreciate your call. Good to talk to you. Uh, th a couple things. Number one, salt to taste. You put a couple, a teaspoon of salt in water, sip on it, and when it no longer tastes good to you, you're done. But it, you don't force yourself to do salt, but your body will tell you. You listen to your body. It'll totally tell you what to do. Also, good fat. The combination of good fat and salt work really well together. Butter and salt go perfectly together. So having her eat more butter, having her do coconut oil with uh, and, and also salt. And then uh, probably a good idea to up her protein as well. Get her on some bone broth protein or have her just do more protein in terms of foods. I like supplemental protein because then you know exactly what you're getting. Uh, that's the combination of protein good oils, that is coconut oil and butter primarily, and also nutritional oils if you're very careful with them, and then, uh, and then salt, Celtic sea salt, is a perfect way to wean yourself off of fast food, and it's very, very heart friendly. All of those, well, everything I just told you, the, the oil, the, the good oil, the butter, and the coconut oil, and the uh, nutritional oils, the uh, salt, and the protein are all very beneficial for the heart. All right, Rose, thank you so much for your call. God bless you. Good to talk to you. Let's go to Mary in Michigan. Good morning. What's going on, Mary? Yes, good morning, Ben. Uh, you're talking about um, hypothyroidism. Um, I suffered with that for probably 30 years before it was discovered. Um, the um, uh, one thing that I would say, and, and you don't hear this from from most any doctors, I don't think, is that uh, mercury fillings are uh, play sure. havoc on the thyroid Absolutely. Big, big, big time. Um, my question is, I was speaking to uh, a natural, natural doctor that I, I, I talked to and um, concerned about my thyroid, trying to get it boosted. Uh, he says that you need uh, three grams of essential fatty acids a day. Well, I don't know uh, that's necessarily. That's beneficial to the, to the thyroid to get it to, to pumping. It, it's not, it doesn't quite work that way. Essential fatty acids are very, very important. And in deficiency states, you're going to be run into a problem, and it will eventually affect your thyroid. But you want to get away from thinking, I take this supplement for this, for this illness. You know what I'm saying? It's more oh, like the, so the EFAs are absolutely important. I don't know about the three gram number. I've never really, nobody really knows how much or how much you need or what the balance is. It's all guesswork. You know, I just, I just use a lot personally. That's how I do it. Uh, so maybe three grams. I don't know. So forget, we'll leave that aside. But the idea that EFAs are important for the body in general is unquestioned. And the idea that we don't get anywhere near enough in our food is unquestioned. So yes, I'm a big believer in EFA supplements. They're part of the mighty 90 essential nutrients as a skin care professional, 
as a skincare therapist, I have seen the most incredible things happen when people get on EFAs, such as eczema disappearing never to be seen again, dry skin disappearing never to be seen again. I've seen it multiple times when people get on essential fatty acid supplements. So it, there's dramatic things that you can do with EFAs. It's been known for a, a long time, for 100 years plus, that EFAs are important for the body and important for the skin. Uh, they're also important for the genetics of the body. You can't make hormones correctly without EFAs. There's so many reasons why uh, essential fatty acids are important. I don't necessarily know about saying three grams to get the thyroid pumping, as you put it, uh, but certainly they're very important for overall health. Work what for you, Mary, you recommend in, I in recommend longevity. From longevity, the healthy start pack. All the things I would recommend are things that will help you, your entire body in general. Right. They're not specific for right. the thyroid. The Fucoid Z, uh, by the way, has a chelating property that will pull mercury out of the out of the body. And your point on mercury is very well taken, by the way. And there's also How another thing. How long does thing, mercury stay in there, uh, Ben? Do you have long any time. idea? Long time, unless you're cleaning yourself out, but you know, well, you eventually it'll come out. <laughs> yeah, you got to clean years. yourself out. And there's also <laughs> another element I'm going to talk about here, uh, probably in the next few days, called bromine, which can affect the thyroid. And, and bromine is a is very toxic substance that's found in brominated flour, plastics, and other processed foods, uh, and processed foods, I should say. So that's another element, and we're going to mm. be addressing those. Cleaning the body out with bentonite clay is uh, very important. Vitamin C is one of the best chelating agents there is, and that's in the Healthy Start Pack. And the Fucoid Z contains algaes, which also have chelating properties. And that's one of the hidden benefits to the Fucoid Z, which is one of my all-time favorite longevity products. So, yes, pulling that mercury out is important. Use something called NAC. You may have heard of that, NAC. Right, right. Also, also MSM sulfur, which you'll get in your glucogel right. caps. That can also help pull mercury out, too. And selenium. Selenium is one of the all-time great anti-mercury nutrients. 600 micrograms a day of selenium, the ultimate selenium. Hey, Mary, I want to get one more call. In, okay, I'm out right, of time. All right, Th thanks so much. Hope I helped you out. And you notice I didn't say much about iodine, right? Iodine's important, no doubt about it, and iodine deficiency is a big problem. But this meme, this belief that you, uh, iodine is some magical pill for the thyroid, that's not how it works. Iodine is very, very important nonetheless. All right, John in California, you get the last word. What's going on, buddy? Of course. Ben, um, I have a scan uh, question. A lot of times out here on the road, I pull over and I just sleep out on the road. I'm not near water, bathrooms, or truck stops. I spray, uh, just spray water on my skin that has vitamin D5 in it. That's great. Uh, I love it. For your recommendation. Uh, did I say? I just do it every day. That, that's how I moisturize. I put moisture on me. Um, but my That's question is, what other things uh, could I, can I put? Now, now uh, hang on, you know, on the vitamin B, f oh, for, to spray on your skin for moisturization? Yeah, one day oh, you a it, and I... Here's the thing. Vitamins, uh, uh, nutrients don't go in, uh, the skin moisturing nutrients don't go into water that well. They tend to be oil soluble. If I were you, I would use try some glucosamine. I'm not sure how well that'll go into water. That has some moisturizing properties, topical glucosamine. The Fucoid Z will have some, some moisturizing properties as well. Uh, you might want to try breaking, getting some high aluronic acid capsules and breaking them up. They, it may not go into the water all that well. You may have to shake it up a lot to get that to occur. And I love the idea on the B5. Hey, that's all the time we have for today. I'm sorry, John, to, uh, to hang up on you there, buddy, but good to talk to you. And uh, we're out of time. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side, friends. Have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.